A very good afternoon from South Cambridge here in the UK on a glorious sunny day from myself and Des, who is a featured star of today's episode. On that, I'm going to be covering three things. First of all, Des update. Did he? Did he get an update? Did he take it? Next up, we got a freak storm. One that it was insane, but it did something crazy to Starlink. And then finally, we have a real world download test from Epic Games, and I downloaded Fortnite, so I'll have all the stats and various things on screen so you can see how that goes. But as you can see, speeds are flying still. Speed test running in a the corner there. Before we jump on to the DES update, or not, as the case might be, here's some sheep. Just hanging around in a frosty morning, mounting each other like sheep do. So as you will know, Dez has been a feature on this channel since I started covering Starlink. And he's 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 grown on me. We're we're like best buddies. He's got his own little life and I put it out to you guys. Should I update him? And the overwhelming consensus was that I should. Um, and I I felt convicted that I had to do what was right in his interests. So his little life was simple. <sighs> Became part of the family. Had his own little room. The best friend. And then today, he put an ethernet into his backside. So here's what happened. So what I wanted to do within this test, and please don't criticize it because it's not scientific. This is more a real world thing where somebody like myself who isn't technically minded, and I keep saying that, but I, I mean it. I mean it really genuinely that I'm, I'm not massively up for going into the back end of routers and tinkering around with stuff. But I took theirs and I wanted to see how he compared to the ISIS and also I've got another little router here that I, I do a speed test during this video and I'll show you on my backup ISP if you like and it's got uh, it's provided by Zen Internet who, who've been incredible but you'll see why I had some issues in terms of uploads and various things and why I struggled. But the results really fascinated me. Um, Des, I don't know if he did update or not, but this is the statistics that showed for him. And I'm I'm fairly sure that he, he may have automatically updated when I plugged him in. But I know there's a, some guys that follow this who are really on top of the firmware and they can help me out whether he has actually updated. But here's the speed tests. Now to say I was surprised by the results is a bit of an understatement. I, I, they're, yeah, faster than I had, no, no doubt about it on, on, on my backup ISP, but man, compared to the ASUS router, they're really slow. And then as you can see, when I jump back onto the ASUS network, you know, things fly. They they just just go. And yeah, this this could be flawed, this test, I get that, but as a everyday guy who just plugs stuff in and expects it to work, well, I'm gonna stick with my ASUS. And the good thing is that means that Des and I can spend more time together and he he will he will permanently be a feature on this channel and I love that. I love I love the fact that I've got a little little buddy. So there you have it. That is the Des update or not as the case might be. So on to this electrical storm. A few nights ago we had what can only be described as some freak weather. The sky was clear, it was about minus one. Um, we were watching the Winter Soldier thing on Disney. And then it froze, the screen froze, but right before the screen froze, there was this massive flash outside, and I thought somebody 
we was trying to break into the house, uh, and then there was this rumble of thunder, and then it snowed. Uh, it snowed pretty quick and heavy and instant snow cover everywhere. And Starlink was down. I mean, it was, if you look at the graphs, they're like a rhubarb and custard sweet. It's obstruction, there's no satellites, there's all sorts going on. So I thought it must be the snow on the dish. But when I looked out, there really didn't seem to be much on it. And then I saw some of the stuff and I remembered, I'd seen some stuff from the Canadian Starlink owners where their dishes were literally like the North Pole, they were just covered in ice. I just thought there's no way that's the case. So I put it out to the wise people on the internet. And this is what we've concluded. It was this static in the air, the thunder and lightning storm, possibly the high, heavy clouds that caused an obstruction, a satellite outage. And this is something you might want to bear in mind if you live in a really stormy area. And, and, and lightning and thunder can knock Starlink out. Well, that could be an issue. I'd love to submit it to the tech guys uh, and see what they think and maybe get some feedback whether that is the cause or not. But it wasn't across the country. I checked with the other owners and nobody had this outage except us. So there you go. I don't think it was the snow. I think it was probably the static thunder and lightning. And then lastly, I've done this download test. I needed to find something quite big just to see how consistent speeds were. Now this is relying on a number of things. It relies on the speed that Epic can send out the file and the servers, and also the fact that I'm connected wirelessly. But I started this test at 11.31, and I let it run until 11.38 hours. And you can see the graphs and the statistics. And in that time, it downloaded 7.5 gigabytes of data, which is just over a gig a minute. Now in my book, that's pretty good. It was pretty solid. You can see the speeds jumping around a bit. You can see the graphs moving up and it fluctuates. It's like the speed test where you can see things fluctuating within the strength of the signal. I think when you would have a full fiber to premises, it is what it is that you don't get this jarring round of signal. And I think that a lot of that comes from the signal to noise ratio. But it's good, you know, real world test, Fortnite, it's pretty good. And then lastly, another news from here in the UK, we have a new ground station. Somebody's found it, it's on Goonie Hill. And that's not too far from me, so that could explain why my speeds are incredibly fast and they're good. And that excites me because I'll be primed for the bigger rollouts. So good news there, I think. And lastly, the Starlink app received an update to 1.0.31. And the app doesn't get updated that frequently, but it's when it is updated, it's good. And the updates have come through are pretty strong. So there's the information on screen that shows what's being applied during that update. Lastly, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody that watches this channel and encourages and comments and has a bit of banter. It is very lighthearted and I do hope that I bring a tiny bit of joy to your day and share some of this real world experience of Starlink. I think we're close to 500 subscribers, which is, it's brilliant. And I, I, I yeah, I, it really encouraged me to do more stuff. So thank you. And whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, have a good one. And I will catch you later.